All right, we're at the outdoor retailer uh, summer market, and whenever you go to a trade show like this, there's a lot of opportunity to get uh, things that are cheap or uh, you know discounted or whatever. So uh, some of the stuff was giveaways, of course, not the good stuff. You pay for things, but um, got kind of cut a cool stuff at the show. Um, made a lot of contacts, talked to people we've dealt with in the past, made some new friends. So uh, we're just laying it out here to kind of keep track of it all. Figured I might go through it. Let's see what we've got. Got a couple of steel like uh, water bottles from uh, Stanley. Pretty cool. Um, above that, we got some uh, of the energy beans with caffeine in them. Sport beans from Jelly Belly. And they gave me that bag of candy as well. Then uh, a couple of the sport beans that are more like uh, energy boost without having caffeine in them. The uh, Hennessy hammock. We'll be doing a review on that one. That one's the Expedition. Tool Logic uh, is now run by SOG, SOG Knives. So uh, we're going to be reviewing that one. Then uh, the Right in the Rain uh, products. We've got the uh, cover, the calendar, and a notebook. A couple of smaller notebooks, and this one was a sample. Then the Right in the Rain pen. Right in the rain copier paper. And I'm going to put this one head to head with that National Geographic paper that I just uh, bought a while back. Huh, a North American Arms laser for the 22 long rifle and 22 mag. I bet you that'll fit on the 22 short as well. We'll find that out. And we've got uh, huh, a set of ho uh, rubber grips for the 22 short. Interesting. So then we've got a titanium spork and four plastic sporks black, clear, green, and a different kind of green. The uh, Spyderco Ladybug, Spyderco USB drive, kind of cool. Then a uh, bunch of stuff from ITW. Um, got a couple of uses for a bunch of these carabiners. And then uh, some Grimlocks, a bunch of web dominators. Then uh, some of the clasp with whistles kind of built in. The orange part is a whistle, otherwise, it's a clasp. Then a bunch of whistles. Again, we've got some per uses for these. From Wits, I got this small, like weatherproof, waterproof uh, plastic container. Again, got some ideas for that one. Then uh, the Cool Wrap, being from Arizona, um, that should be an interesting one. It holds water, and you wrap it around your neck, and through evaporation, you you get cooled. Then from Sotec, I've got some of these labels, which are. Uh, sewn and then have velcro on the back so you can use these to identify uh, sub packs or things in your pack from Brunton got a couple of these small lights and these are kinda cool they have a the back end is rubber so lots of uses for those it's just a LED squeeze light uh, the yellow pads there are from Leatherman and that's actually something that uh, we were real happy to, lucky to get, real happy to get them. And that's uh, probably because we're doing media stuff and weren't able to buy those, but we were, able, we were giving them as a gift, and those are really cool. Uh, we've also got a couple of Leatherman notebooks there. have an idea for those as well. Up here on top of that Hennessy hammock, we've got, for, again, from ITW, their Field Shields, which is the insect repellent and uh, sunblock in a handy wipe type of format. Next to it, Warrior Wipes, which are hand wipes with uh, sanitizer, but they've got a, a, a smooth side and a rough side to help get rid of blood and crap off your hands. Then we've got uh, a Bug Band, which is sort of like a, what are these, like a Lance Armstrong rubber band type of thing with insect repellent on it. And you strap that around yourself and you don't have bugs, I guess. We're gonna give that a try. Uh, one of the giveaways was this uh, little thermometer compass zipper to pull from Pelican. That's pretty neat of them to give that away. And then uh, we were able to get some of the first uh, X-proof bags from ITW. And these we'll be doing reviews of. They're not the same as the lock sack bag, which is over here, although they're very similar. So we'll be putting those head to head and show why you might want to get both. In fact, I recommend getting both because they're really not the same thing. These X-proof bags are definitely heavy-duty bags, but uh, not the lock sack. And then we did get a sample lock sack bag. That was cool. So, a lot of stuff. I'm not going to say how much it cost, but 
pretty penny. Didn't uh, know it wasn't all free. Did get a couple of these things for free, but it was a pretty productive show. We definitely didn't have to pay full retail, and that's always cool. Helps offset the price of the trip a little bit. But stay tuned for reviews. We're going to obviously do reviews on all this stuff eventually, and uh, you know we'll be using it in the future. So a uh, little insight when you go to a trade show like this, um, if you ever do. Uh, I encourage you to. Uh, the NRA show, uh, if you're a retailer, shows like this. Um, we're going to be uh, thinking about going to the Blade show next year. That's another thing where you might get some uh, opportunity to, to get some bargains. Oh, you know what? I missed these tear aids, which are repair strips. And these are pretty neat. We'll be doing reviews on those as well. I was really impressed with those. Uh, anyway, that's the, uh, the loot. Now I have to figure out how to get this stuff into my... Uh, my suitcase and get it home with us, but uh, I'll figure out a way.